approach to leave Benghazi over imminent threat. The Foreign Office said that after the recent French military interventions in Mali against Islamic extremists, there was the possibility of retaliatory attacks against Western interests in the region. Foreign Office Minister David Liddington told the BBC the government had received credible, serious and specific reports about a possible terrorist threat. He added, The terrorist risk in Benghazi and other parts of this region has been there for some time before Mali and Algeria crisis of last weekend. The safety of British citizens is our top priority. This is amazing. I'm going to give you a quick lesson on Libya for the general public. Gaddafi ran Libya for years. Bad man. Tony Blair started liking Gaddafi. He became a good man. Gaddafi didn't have a globalist-run central bank and wanted to start the African Dina currency that would be gold-backed. He became a bad man again. America and Europe, i.e. the West, no like this. Gaddafi, now a very bad man, must be removed from power and killed, West said so. The West funded, trained and supplied arms to the rebels in Libya to help overthrow Gaddafi. The rebels in Libya were in fact Al-Qaeda. The West supported and put Al-Qaeda into power in Libya once Gaddafi, bad man, was dead. Now we must attack Al-Qaeda in Libya because there is a possibility that there might be a possibility of an impending possible terror attack. War is a machine and it must be fed. We put Al-Qaeda into Libya a year or so ago knowing full well that down the line we'd have to go back into Libya to save the world from Al-Qaeda and this is the start of the beating of the war drums in Libya again. It's a game to these people. Another illegal war in Libya to save us from Al-Qaeda will only do two things. One, kill thousands more innocent people. Two, make more profits for the defence company's shareholders. It's a joke. And the only reason they can get away with it is because the general public are asleep at the wheel. Well, in fact, they're not even at the wheel at all. They're sat in the back seat of the car asleep under a blanket of media bullshit. Wake up, people.